I thought I'd come back and do a video on um, an update on the, obviously the bug um, and purely I'm doing it one because uh, poor old Boris Johnson who you know uh, we've only just found out well, I've only just found out today I guess I look like a mess no long woke up but I've just found it out today that uh, you know they were ready to put him on life support now for me I've had a pretty rough couple of weeks so it's just been kind of awkward with PPE and trying to drum things into people's heads and kind of like get get people working in different directions really and that and getting them to think differently so you know I know how hard things are at the moment for absolutely everybody out there even though I still don't know which way to look what I want to talk about a little bit is about being actually in in the intensive care units um again it's very dear to my heart um I've been in pediatric Pediatric Intensive Care, so the ICU, uh, ICU, which is Intensive Care, um, Adult Intensive Care Units, and I've also done scabu and trauma and all sorts of care, uh, over 30 odd, 30 odd years and plus, to be fair. Um, what I want to talk about is obviously the importance right now it is for everybody to know that, you know, if you're going to start going out there doing uh, the socialising, my suggestion would be what I'm doing with my family still is just complete socialise, Facebooking, uh, Whatsapping. I'm just getting used to it really, the, the FaceTime with the kids because it took me a while to, to sort of get my, myself in order here and get used to the care. Ventilators right now and the importance of them and the importance of intensive care units and the importance of obviously Boris uh, Johnson who you know uh, the way he's obviously come and spoke about um, being near to this close to going actually on the complete ventilation which means it takes over your actual lungs okay the machine just breathes for you I'm sure lots of people know that by now um, and do you know what you are planning your death you are planning funerals you are doing this you are doing that as a family unit because you just don't know what else to do you know it's kind of part and parcel of whatever this is um, and just because Boris is our, our Prime Minister he's no different obviously he's trying to share his story um now what my importance is about his story is is he is being very very truthful it's not not easy okay to sit there seeing your loved one die um and right now the importance of everybody socializing like social distancing sorry not socializing yeah socializing actually because they're still doing it um this social distancing if your loved one gets obviously the bug and has to be put on 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 life support then the importance of that is one you, you know what the chances of you seeing that loved one it will be the, is it the webinar something like that that i think they've got uh, going together at the moment you won't be there sitting at the bedside like a lot of like it used to be do you know what I mean they haven't got time to look after you know the the, the other loved ones um, because there's that many involved in intensive care units whether it be um, pediatrics adults you know or scabu um, you know you each each single individual um that is on ventilators so say you've got 10 10 bedded unit that's one nurse to each bed and then you've got all the doctors you've got you've just got a multitude of everything you, you know everything's going on every so many minutes you've got like you know 
I don't really want to be really, 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 like, kind of, like, raw, but I will be raw because it's dear to my heart because I've seen so many mums and dads and siblings, aunts, uncles, nuns, granddads, um, people pass away. I've been to many funerals, you know, little babies from, you know, up to 11, 13, different different ages okay it's not nice and right now you know in Britain obviously we're, I'm talking about Britain but the world's the same but right now in Britain um, the way it's going you know and if there is going to be a second wave of this my, my suggestion would be listen just listen to what Boris has got to say actually because he's actually trying to say to you you know what if you can avoid going into intensive care, if you can avoid, and if you can just be, um, I don't know what the word is because it's really annoyed me because it's kind of like, um, I've just, I can't really do much well other than chat on a, on a phone. And I've just woke up from a little nap, which has been quite nice because I don't normally have one. But obviously, this this is really important. These one bed in intensive care is thousands. Okay, one bed. Then you've got your nurse, and then you've got your drugs, and then you've got everything else. You know, whatever machines you're on, blah blah blah. Um, I. The importance for you not to be on that machine is the best thing that you can do. And the importance of not getting the the bug. The Mr. 19, you know. And, the, and one of those things is cross-contamination through the sneezing. Um, now I've done a lot of uh, little bits and pieces myself with filters and all sorts. Because I'm allergic to the masks. Hence my eyes are always like on fire and feel like they're going to pop out my head. Um, I have tried the visors, I have tried full face mask, that's no good. Um, a half one, I have just tried everything. Um, and you know what? They obviously don't work with me, so I'm making my own. Um, you know, just so I don't pass anything to Ben, because I've got, I've had another secondary, secondary infection. But uh, I just think it's because of stress, you know? And I'm trying to stress out to people now out there, for the NHS people, doctors, nurses, consultants, you're talking of a lot of people, uh, physios, occupational therapists, you know, you've got the shebang, um, x-ray people, you all these have to go into intensive care, they have to take chest x-rays, people, Bloods, gases, everything has to be done right on shift. And you know, you don't want to be there, trust me. You just don't want to be there. And you would not want to see your loved one on a telephone like I'm talking to, like like a loom right now. You wouldn't want to see your loved one in that kind of uh, way, especially saying goodbye. And I'm trying to be blunt with it because goodbye. On a telephone is nothing compared to seeing somebody and wanting to say goodbye to somebody if you know what I'm com where I'm coming from, what I mean. Because, you know, a lot of this can be avoided right now. Uh, I mean, we've been, we've been doing this for a while and it's not been without its ups and downs, especially, like I said, my eyes. My eyes are the, the worst. I just feel like like something scratching on the inside all the time. Like, oof. Um, for me, I'm a family person. I'm a, I'm a mom. I've learned a lot in many, many years. I've had a lot of experience with different things. And it's just a, a ventilators, filters, um, all that kind of thing to me is, is always been my background. But it's the importance of keeping your chest, you know, um, healthy, keeping your mind active um, and trying to, 
you know, um, keep yourself as healthy as you can by not going out to socialise and trying to actually uh, bring your own families back together in the most unique way that you can. The one being the telephone, of course. We all know that. And WhatsApp's brilliant. Um, excuse me. So that backlight again, here we go. I should have a hat on. It's somewhere down there. Um, you know, uh, there's moments at this moment in time for me that I'd just like to put out there to other families and people that are selfish, are being selfish right now by other, risking it, other people. It's still mad in all the shops. You shouldn't be doing that. It's wrong. There's no need for that. You know, the food, the food's not running out, running out like that, is it? Give other people a chance, you know. I'm just trying to sort of say this is why people are getting the COVID because they're just going in these massive queues and they're queuing. And my son, son in law, I'm going on to rabble, rabble, rabble. My son in law called me up on Thursday and said he just wouldn't believe the, 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 the queue going into KFC. I'm like, KFC? Why is KFC open? Why are they risking their own staff? Sorry, I shouldn't mention you, but I am. And and then you've got the cars backed up from one another, like, you know, and it's kind of like, why would you take your family that in a little car journey to go and risk a bit of chicken? Um, I don't know. Just don't do it. You know, there's no need. Don't they bring it to the door these days, I thought. Oh, God. Anyway, going back to please, it's just a plea from men. You won't, trust me, you will not cope if you have have one of your family members um, go into an ICU unit or onto a ventilator. Um, a lot of people will not cope with this because of how it's happening, how quick it's happening and how it is still happening. The care homes alone look at the look at look at the statistics on them you know that it's really really bad and you know we're grateful that we were help be able to being able to go out there and you know get some stock to people ppe um i'm coming in a sec ben every time i try to try and do something um that's all i get so um well, and also, and going back to things, going back to intensive care units, can you imagine, right, how, I mean, I'm moaning about my masks, my eyes, right, and I do do full PPA, but you guys need to imagine what it's like doing 15 hour shifts in a suit, in a mask, in, in goggles, um, and more, you know. It's really hard. You sweat. You, you get hungry. You, there's just all sorts in them. And I'm just trying to promote everybody to, you know, be more creative. You know, be more family orientated. Get to know people. Get to know each other more in your own environments. And maybe, you know, we can stop this. Yes. Right, open the oven, please. Right. I've got it open the oven. Open it up. Yes, please. Only a little bit. It's all right, I've got him do loads of things now. He's helping me out, I'm helping him out. Um, yeah, getting back to people like uh, in Britain, please stay at home. Um, it's a plea from me and my family in ways because... Uh, when you've lived, breathed it, and worked it, you know, and you're seeing these people um, pass away so quickly with it, and children, you know, it's not good. Um, and we just would like to try and help in different ways, at promoting different different things that you can do as families. And when you are stuck, 
you know, it's okay to cry. Don't worry about it. Well, we all have to cry. I've been a big tit. Um, I just, I just like to give a bit of positivity back. Anyway, I'm going. I'm going to put some sail on in the eyes again. Going for me drops. Uh, I hope that people do start listening. Because it's just not fair on the doctors, nurses and the NHS anymore. Okay. Bye-bye for now.